too, so I need to rebuild this mask because I'm actually excited about trying to go out and forge, you know, moving on to, uh, you know, going out outside for a few, few, few hours uh, eventually and then having a backpack, uh, you know, some safety gear, some safety gear and collecting some rocks. Just go out there and... I found this nice old brick. It's really heavy and dense, but I could use this as a scraper or a sander. Um, it'll last for a long time if I were to use it right and things. Um, I also find branches. You, you know, there might be some really nice uh, curved and, you know, types of branches, I guess. Uh, so these branches, I peel off the bark, kind of, and stuff like that. Uh, but they may come in handy. They they make good decorations. So, and then there's other stuff you might find. You might be able to find, like, a flashlight, which uh, I didn't... Well, I did find this in, like, a pick pile. And the batteries that... Well, maybe it's a daytime, but I kind of tried to make an ultraviolet light. But yeah, I could kind of see it. Um, this is for collecting gems. I used tape. I I, pay, I used a blue marker and then taped and then just colored or, you know, just painted the tape. And then I, you know, put one layer, painted it, and then put another layer. So that's how I made that. Um, but back to, you know, harvesting and making these rocks, uh, you know selecting which rocks and you know um even knowing where to find some decent rocks uh, i found like a a dump pile or you know you, you can find someone's dump pile and then there there will, will be a few you know you might there might be some rocks in there you could you know there's train tracks um i actually want to collect better rocks than sandstone or stuff like that or you know, uh, there's parks, and you never know, um, unless you kind of do it, so I've been, so I'm just kind of showing you guys what to do, um, you know, some of them might be really good rocks, which are completed and whole, and things like that, and smooth, um, and some might be a little bit broken off pieces, uh, I want to try to add a little mortar uh, which is a cement just add add some on there um, using like a template for size and things I could coat this uh, with, with some dry cement and things so that it doesn't really get stuck or oil or lotion um, but I'm going to um, mainly use you know e even the broken ones uh, can actually create a um, you know, a certain, uh, a certain design for like plants or, you know, just a cave structure and things. And the fish will or can appreciate something like that. Um, you know, and then some of it's going to be cement, mainly like the bottom part. And then I can go on to using crazy glue for more, um, uh, for certain areas. Crazy glue or some of the e epoxy that I get. Um, for some of the areas, maybe add a branch, you know, um, pieces of wood or something. Um, but all in all, the main part is water sealing what I can with the cement because I you know over time the water could really soak it up and then you know it 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 will unbind or unbond and like this uh this this rock or piece of cement that I found concrete um has all sizes of um what it is coated with is silicone and when I put this in water it's 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 the household silicone uh, but it starts to get milky white and things it starts to get kind of soft so I can't really use silicone 
um, just because uh, that too will break down in the water and maybe the cement and mortar if it's not dried up the best thing to really use is clay if you are going to um, you know stick rocks and, and things uh, but e even the clay I haven't I don't have any but you can really find one in deeper beds underneath sand and things. It's really broken down um, sludge and stuff. From, But um, coating this, if I'm going to try actually mortar cement next. And then after getting the piece together, I'm going to try to use some concrete and masonry protector and waterproofer. I actually bought this for, my, for some other things. Um, I did use some of it and this and that uh for the backyard um cement it really works pretty good it, it it keeps it creates a barrier so that water doesn't soak into the cement and then it actually will run off a lot better uh, it's a real good product um especially with doing this with some you know i want to try to test it um just to see if it works i've tested a few uh a few other products and they didn't work that good so maybe just going back to the original idea of cement and maybe coating it with protector and waterproofer uh, and then and then establishing it uh, keeping it in water and 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 seeing if everything is sealed and protected is my, my next idea so yeah I'm pretty much a decent DIY outdoor I have extra you know you could collect these out of old toilets if they're really modern these these will make good fill valves in a spare fill tank so I'm kind of uh, also gluing every day so I've, I've glued this aquarium and got it back up it's really solid glue using the epoxy it's, it's, it's quite frustrating if it doesn't bond and hold uh, for certain reasons uh, like in this cover it's warping a little bit but you know if you get things to work especially sealing the aquarium and then you know if if you tried other things like me with the silicone and things um, finally getting it to work and being established as an aquarium making under gravel filters and things um having these fake plants finally situated i mean i've had these plants for like a while for around 12 years or something just stored away and then you know i try to uh you know it's better to use gravel with fake plants and you know when you have gravel you need under gravel filter um so you know and it, it just holds down the plants a lot better it makes it seem a little natural and things but um you know look at how this uh air filter for the gravel filter is running is really nice um i had to adjust it. it it you know the pump that i have isn't you know the strongest pump but uh, and it stopped working once for a day or two and then i just uh you know I've got a video about that and getting that to run nicely and there's quite a quite a lot of air build up in there and then it's it's actually you know pushing a lot of uh, particles and things uh, I can really see different uh, you know either air bubbles small air bubbles and this and that but eventually that's going to really get clogged up with debris and things from the under gravel filter or you know just having that around is pretty much the main feature of this aquarium this this 55 gallon um you know breeder you know aquascaped breeder it's it's really pretty much the most exciting thing for me right now besides gluing up a, a smaller aquarium that will match this so here's the small aquarium that's matching that. I actually uh, am repairing some chips. So I check up on this, uh, you know, just to make sure it doesn't bubble up for the first, you know, for, for the first hour of gluing. I'm gonna, going to keep these pieces of tape 
covering this. Uh, it's going to give it added strength and stability. But I scraped most. Of, I went back and I even scraped the top of the trimming, and there was a, a, a groove in there. So I epoxied. Uh, I I actually had the aquarium half way off of this table but leveled and I would reach my arm in there and then squeeze out the glue and then I used a popsicle popsicle stick um, and then um, with the popsicle stick uh, the curve on this is going to touch the glass I mainly get this side flat against the glass and this is going to create a, a, a a, uh, a nice pattern or something within the epoxy um, so I did epoxy three sides of this on the third day and there's a fruit fly running through there but if I were to smoothen it now the epoxy is already started to glue so it's going to um, you know once you apply the glue and this and that just let it sit around and do its thing and dry but the first day I, I scraped and cleaned as much silicone as I can I glued the bottom trim on the outside because there's none on the inside except for the so yeah um, that was the first day you know scraping cleaning getting something glued let that dry for a day and then the second day I did the top trim inside and on the outside so that sand and dirt or even water dripping won't get down in the seal or something and you know make so but the top trim i i didn't expect the groove to be like that it i, I used like half a bottle basically half a bottle uh just for this top trim but at least it's done and you know when i moved it on the third day today's the third day of gluing um you know to do this side it, it just felt a little more solid any leftover glue i would actually use it on gluing the outside um, of the glass where where it's pretty much glued and sealed so that's going to give more support I do that for most of my repairs on these old aquariums gluing the top trim and then gluing the outside just to give it a, a little bit more of a firm uh, hold and things like that so yeah that's pretty much most of the gluing DIY that it's going to take two more days maybe three more days because I got to turn it to this side facing down doing the same thing with uh, you know the side facing down just at, you know adding more stability within the glue process but this side is done you know uh, by tomorrow I'm gonna to be confident to get this other side done and then I've got to turn it to the front or the back these larger sides and then I've got to actually do pretty much the back because this uh, front uh, these sides will be glued and things or maybe I could double glue the sides and or whatnot just because how gravity might shift where I glued but the and then that's gonna be two more days so that's three days and then the la the complete whole last day and at the same time I actually need to glue the in you know the really bottom bottom so I've got to do that later on today on this side just this bottom on the outside but um, the last day I just glue the whole bottom just to get it as smooth as I can so hopefully uh, you know nine dollars of you know the the epoxy gorilla glue uh, you know is it's gonna basically uh, repair most of the problems with this aquarium I could use it and really be happy if you know I don't have a cover maybe I could you know make one in this and that um, so yeah leave any comments questions or suggestions you know I'm, I'm really concerned about my YouTube uh, you know you know I don't know if it's career or just YouTube uh, you know ideas for videos and things um, but I'm, I'm making decent videos you know and I'm adding like foraging I'm 
you know, there's some yoga and things, there's some electronics or whatnot, but there is it's just all research and time and effort for now and I'll see you on the next upside DIY and it's good to have this lamp right here or anywhere where you're working um, it really gives a, a, a more clearer uh, you know finish so thanks for watching YouTube I'll see you later bye